back listeners i'm robin black and this is it's all about healing podcast in today's episode contentment if we are not content with what we already have or where we already currently are we will never be content with where we want to go or what we want to eventually have as well when we don't appreciate the blessings that we already have. That's like, in a sense, telling God in the universe that I don't want it. I don't want more. I don't want better. Because all you're doing is complaining about where you already are. Right. And we all have been there several times or currently there. And it's about trying to move away from that way of thinking that way of being, because we don't want to just constantly complain about where we are. We complain about where we work, complain about what your significant other bought you for, you know, Mother's Day or anniversary gift or whatever. And you're just like, I can't believe they got me. Like, what were they thinking? Right. There are so many things that we do that we don't realize it's 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 not good. Right. It's not a good way of being because when we're not content, we're never satisfied. And when you're never satisfied, you're you're basically getting in the way of yourself. You're getting in the way of where you want to be, especially when it comes to jobs or relationships. Right. Sometimes in relationships, people will watch, you know, all these reality TV shows or they'll be on social media and they'll look at what others are doing or these celebrities or whatever the case may be. And then they feel that the relationship that they have is nothing like, mm, I don't have this. I don't have that. And that's God's way of saying, well, what makes you think that you deserve more if you can't even see what you currently have now? And as far as jobs, when you constantly complain about your job, right? Or the review that you received, you have to ask yourself, do you, do I sit back and only half ass my job? Or am I really putting my all into this? And am I really appreciative of what I already have? Am I appreciative that I'm able to pay my bills? Or do I just constantly complain and want to look for another job, but nobody else is hiring me? There you go. That's God in the universe telling you, you want another job. You need to appreciate where you are now. And in order to be content, we have to exercise patience. We have to exercise stillness, right? Which I spoke about in the la- in the previous episode is that stillness, being in alignment with your with your mind, your heart and spirit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen... Um, uh, karate Kid with Jackie Chan. I love Jackie Chan, but um, if you guys have ever seen that, and he was teaching Jaden Smith, he was teaching him how to respect his mother and hang his his jacket up because he kept forgetting to hang his jacket up. You know, so he was trying to teach him these are the steps that you have to take in order to learn the things that you want to. Right? Jaden wanted to be this great martial artist. But he was like, you're going to have to take this step first. And he just wasn't understanding. He was not understanding why Jackie Chan just kept telling him to keep doing this over and over and over again. God, the angels, the universe, the exact same thing. When we keep experiencing the same thing over and over and over, God, he is a patient. He is very, very, very patient. His patience is out of this world, obviously. He's a patient God, right? But he sits back and just watches you keep complaining, keep making the same mistakes. And he's just like, you're going to continue to keep doing this over and over again until you learn to be content and thankful, right? Because gratitude goes a long way. Be thankful for where you are and what you already have. Because you have, you are richly blessed Even though a lot of people think being rich is only money, but you are blessed in so many different ways. 
And that's the way that Jackie Chan kept telling Jaden to put that coat up, put that. Now he knows it's it. He formed a habit of, OK, I come home, I put my jacket or I hang my jacket up. His mother doesn't have to keep constantly telling him to do it. And then he doesn't keep getting that attitude with her because she keeps telling him to hang his coat up. Right. So it's the same thing with us. When you get tired and you finally lose the attitude, you finally stop complaining. That's when God in the universe says, okay, you're ready. You're ready for this blessing that's been sitting here waiting. But because we're constantly complaining, we're constantly disliking where we are. We're constantly focusing on how or when or where this blessing is. Why these these other jobs won't hire me? Why is my relationship, we don't get to travel, we don't get to do all of this, but all these other relationships do. When you're constantly looking outward and you're focusing on what others have, what their blessings are, you're not focusing on the blessings that you already have that says, that tells God in the universe that, hey, I'm thankful for where I am. I'm thankful for what I have right now. And it's like, again, we have to eliminate these old beliefs, eliminate the things that we can see and focus on what we cannot see. Focus, focus on the things that you want and bring them into fruition. Okay. The way that I can manifest this is to actually go within, is to meditate, focus on my spirituality, or if you're religious, focus on your religion. You know, whatever your path is with God, whatever resonates with you, I'm not saying that you just, oh, you, you have to be spiritual. I'm not saying that just because I am, but I'm saying is that everyone is their own person and everyone has their own relationship with God, right? As some people, they tend to demonize when people talk about the universe and chakras and this and that, but it's not, maybe it's just that there's not a, it, there's a lack of understanding there, a lack of knowledge. But it actually has a lot to do with God and the universe. We're all one. And the universe is actually something that you can see. So I, I still myself won't understand why some people are like, oh, the universe, that's that's demonic. I'm like, you can look outside and literally see it. But um, um, but as far as contentment, it's about appreciating where you are, being content with where you are, that will move you forward. All you have to do is just say, God, I appreciate where I am. I'm thankful for where I am. Start writing it down if you have to. Write down the things that you're thankful for having right now. Thankful for just allowing me to wake up this morning. Thankful for my children. Thankful for my car. Thankful for my job. And really start appreciating it and getting your heart in alignment with God. That's what it's about. It's about God. Everything falls back on God, period. Even all your burdens, you lay it on him, lay it down at his feet. He is the one who can carry it. He's the one that's going to carry us. It is ultimately about getting back with God. That is it. That's, that's life. As simple as that seems to say it, I know it's a little bit harder to actually do it, but that's all he wants us to do. Be content with what we have. Be appreciative for what it is that we already have. And that's how we get to the blessings that we want. But you can't fall, you know, or focus all of your attention on the reward, on that final blessing, right? On the prize. You have to focus more on the journey of getting there. And the best way to do that is just stay in that relationship, stay in constant meditation, stay in constant intimacy with God, with the universe. They're there to help us. That's who we lean on. When we don't know the answers, that's where we will find the answers is we go within and you get in alignment. It is all about alignment. And in order to align You have to start healing. You have to start eliminating those old beliefs. But that is all all that I have for you today. Again, book your one-on-one, 
dot it's all about healing podcast dot com. Everyone stay blessed.